being from Virginia, uh, the fact that there is state mandated planning is really a big deal. Um, and a huge benefit to Florida because in other states, there's nothing requiring that the plan even be considered. Um, it often just sits on the shelf and occasionally somebody looks at it. But here, the fact that new development has to be consistent with the comprehensive plan, I think is a huge benefit. It requires that plan to have meaning, to be implemented, um, to be reviewed from time to time and not to get stale because if that happens, then, then you're going to see um, development have a hard time being consistent with the comprehensive plan. So I think that uh, there's, there's a lot of benefits. I do think there have been some drawbacks in a couple of ways. The the original growth management legislation had a number of rules that might have had some unintended consequences. For example, uh, transportation concurrency um, often caused new development to go to the places where there was road capacity, which often meant more rural, less developed areas. Um, that I don't think was the intent of ensuring that there was adequate infrastructure. On the flip side, when in 2011, a lot of those rules got taken away, um, it left a big void and it left local governments without many tools to provide or ensure that the infrastructure was adequate to meet the needs of that new development that's coming in. In our community, we've seen that we've had uh, you know, 10 years of now infrastructure not keeping up with growth in many areas because of the lack of concurrency. So I think um, probably it's the reactionary approach to making changes to our system that overall is really quite good. But when there's something that uh, causes some, some challenge or um, some difficulty uh, for different parts of the development community or um, just different different local governments, the, the reaction is kind of to, well, let's remove it all. Let's, um, let's just do away with that because that was causing a problem as opposed to getting in there and trying to figure out how to make it work better. So I think that that has been probably our biggest drawback is we've sometimes thrown the baby out with the bathwater um, instead of trying to make the overall process better.